Hello, today we'll be going through practice questions 21 to 30 for the Linux Essentials exam. Let's begin. A user is currently in the directory home user downloads and runs the command ls dot dot documents. Assuming it exists, which directory's content is displayed? The correct answer is A. The command ls dot dot documents means dot dot moves up one directory level from home user downloads to home user, then it lists the contents of the documents directory inside home user. So the full path becomes home user documents. Why the other options are being correct? B. This goes into downloads under documents, which is not the command's intent. C. This would require a documents folder inside downloads. D. This is a top level directory. The command does not refer to an absolute path. E. This is a sibling to home user, not targeted by dot dot documents. Therefore, the correct answer is A. A directory contains the following three files. Which command copies the two files ending in .txt to the temp directory? The correct answer is B. The asterisk wildcard matches any number of characters, so asterisk.txt matches both texts1.txt and texts2.txt, but not texts3.csv. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Question mark question mark matches exactly two characters before dot text, so it doesn't match texts one dot text. C. This has invalid syntax. D. Question mark matches a single character, so this only works for names like a dot text. E. Dollar sign question mark is a shell variable for the last command's exit status, not for file matching. Therefore, the correct answer is B. Which of the following is a protocol used for automatic IP address configuration? The correct answer is E. DHCP DHCP is used to automatically assign IP addresses, subnet masks, gateways, and other network settings to devices on a network. Why the other options are incorrect? A. NFS This is used for file sharing, not IP configuration. B. LDAP. This is directory access protocol, used for querying and modifying directory services. C. SMTP. This is simple mail transfer protocol, used for sending emails. D. DNS. This is used to resolve host names to IP addresses, not assign them. Therefore, the correct answer is E. Which of the following devices represents a hard disk partition? The correct answer is D. In Linux, dev sda2 represents the second partition on the first SATA SCSI hard disk. Why the other options are incorrect? A. This represents a serial port, not a disk partition. B. This is not a standard device name in Linux. C. This is also not a standard naming convention for partitions. E. This has incorrect format. Linux does not use slashes for partitions under disk names. Therefore, the correct answer is D. Which of the following statements regarding Linux hardware drivers is correct? The correct answer is E. Drivers are either compiled into the Linux kernel or are loaded as kernel modules. In Linux, device drivers are part of the kernel, either built in or loaded dynamically as kernel modules when needed. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Drivers are regular Linux programs which have to be run by the user. This is false. Drivers run in kernel space, not as user programs. B. Drivers are not used by Linux because the BIOS handles all access. This is false. The BIOS is only used during boot. Linux uses its own drivers. C. Drivers are stored on their devices and copied by the Linux kernel. This is false. Drivers are stored on the system, not on hardware devices. D. Drivers are downloaded from the vendor's driver repository when a new device is attached. This is false. Linux does not automatically download drivers like Windows. Drivers are typically included in the kernel or installed via package managers. Therefore, the correct answer is E. What can be found in the PROC directory? The correct answer is D. One directory per running process. 
The PROC directory is a virtual file system that provides real-time information about the system and its processes. Each running process has a corresponding directory named by its PID, such as PROC1234. Why do the options are incorrect? A. One directory per installed program. PROC is for processes, not installed programs. B. One device file per hardware device. That is found in dev, not PROC. C. One file per existing user account. User account info is stored in Etsy password, not PROC. E. One log file per running service. Logs are stored in var log, not PROC. Therefore, the correct answer is D. Which of the following directories must be mounted with read and write access if it resides on its own dedicated file system? The correct answer is D. Var. The var directory must be mounted with read and write access because it contains variable data like logs, mail spools, print queues, and package management files. These files are constantly written to during normal system operation. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Opt. This typically contains optional or third-party software and doesn't require frequent writes. B. Lib. This stores essential shared libraries, usually read only after boot. C. Etsy. This holds configuration files, modified occasionally, but not as frequently as var. E. User. This contains mostly read-only data like applications and libraries, not written too often. Therefore, the correct answer is D. What is true about links in a Linux file system? The correct answer is D. A symbolic link can point to a file on another file system. Symbolic links are like shortcuts and can point to files or directories across different file systems because they just store a path to the target. Why the other options are incorrect? A. A symbolic link can only point to a file and not a directory. This is false. Sim links can point to both files and directories. B. A hard link can only point to a directory and never to a file. This is false. It's the opposite. Hard links can point to files, but not directories. C. When the target of the symbolic link is moved, the link is automatically updated. This is false. Sim links break if the target is moved or deleted. E. Only the root user can create hard links. This is false. Regular users can create hard links, as long as they have the right permissions and the target is on the same file system. Therefore, the correct answer is D. Which files are the source of the information in the following output? Choose two. The correct answers are B and C. These two files are the source of the information shown in the output. Etsy password contain user account information, including the UID, username, and primary GID. Etsy group maps group names to GIDs and lists group memberships, such as Wheel, Docker, Libvirt, etc. Why the other options are incorrect? A. This is not a standard file in Linux. D. This is not related to user or group info. E. This is not used in standard Linux systems for this purpose. Therefore, the correct answer is B and C. What is true about the su command? The correct answer is C. It runs a shell or command as another user. The su command allows a user to run a shell or a specific command as another user, typically as root if no username is specified. Why the other options are incorrect? A. It is the default shell of the root account. This is false. Su is a command, not a shell. B. It can only be used by the user root. This is false. Any user can run su, though using it to become root requires the root password. D. It changes the name of the main administrator account. This is false. It does not rename accounts. E. It locks the root account in specific time frames. This is false. Su does not control account locking or time-based restrictions. Therefore, the correct answer is C. We have come to the end of today's video. If you liked the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Goodbye.